So I just want to show you another reason why you want to use Hub Pages and SquidDo for uh, putting your your uh, your first line of defense of links into your site, uh, and those kinds of services. Um, if you do a search here for how to get your page number one on Google, there's 130 million search results for that phrase. And if you look here, uh, number nine is this page on Hub Pages: How to get multiple listings on page one of Google for your Hub Pages which is a, a lens I did. It's also number one for how to get multiple listings on the first page of Google. It also shows up for a lot of different keywords. Um, in other words, hub pages will get ranked uh, higher than other similar pages on the same theme or, or whatever just be, by virtue of the fact that it's on hub pages or it's on Squidoo um, because of the page rank value that hub pages and Squidoo has as a domain and the other uh, pages that, uh, that are on Hub Pages and Squidoo have high page rank value, and those, as I showed you in the last video, uh, end up linking to your pages. So you're, you're getting an instant benefit by just being there. So when you create a, a, a content page to link into your site, your first choice should be Hub Pages, and then you should do a Squidoo, and then you can see also Ezine Articles always comes up uh, pretty high also. So those are the three best places, of course, you know, you want to get inbound links from all over the place, but uh, that's one of the arguments for why to put that, uh, put up that page on hub pages. And if you see here, you know, how to get multiple pages on page one of a Google, and this is, you know, a page I made. I actually didn't, um, <laughs> I didn't do any keyword research for this. I just, you know, saw this phenomena happen with some of the keywords I was working with, and I thought, hey, I better tell people about this because I did this by using Article Jockey, which, as you know, is a, a free uh, site I created uh, to make uh, writing uh, theme-relevant content easier. So it talks about how to use uh, Article Jockey to write your content, which you then paste on hub pages, and uh, and then it goes through about you know how it works and anyway, um, just showing you that having your uh, content on hub pages and Squidoo and Easy Articles are very good first choices of places to post content with inbound links into your site. Now, the next step is to build links into these hub pages and into these squid new lenses and into these easy articles. And that's what I'm going to show you next. So to do that, we are going to use a service called Clipmarks, which is a free service. And you just uh, sign up um, on this site by putting in a uh, username, you know, email, whatever, uh, email address, username, password. Now here's where um, you know it gets a little bit a little bit uh, sophisticated. You're not just going to create one Clipmarks account. You are going to create a Clipmarks account for every identity that you create. And you're going to create new identities left and right and center. And you're going to have tons of identities and each one of those is going to have a Clipmarks account and each one of those is going to be associated with an external blogging service. So we're going to get into all the nitty-gritty in the following videos. But the idea is you go to Yahoo or MSN or Hotmail. Um, I like to avoid using Google for creating identities, which are basically just free email accounts, um, because I don't like Google to really know or have any way to connect things together. So I like to use Yahoo or uh, Hotmail or whatever, and I'll create a free email account. And once I create that free email account associated it with a name, and then I'll set up a Clipmarks account with that email address, uh, that username and password. So I'm not going to walk through how to do this. You simply to sign up with Clipmarks, put in the email address of this, uh, you know, Hotmail or Yahoo account that you created, um, your username, uh, which is going to be, you know, the same if you use like uh, John Smith for your Yahoo email name, then just put John Smith with no space for the username here, um, and then your password and uh, you create your Clipmarks account. We'll pick this up in the next video.